what's going on everybody welcome back to a new spin tires metro Night video today we'll be playing on the bridgewood outland map and uh it looks like this and we will be also playing with the 1970 snake truck which is kind of a tow truck looks pretty nice and uh, we'll be basically checking both of these mods out. I thought the truck was pretty um, unique. So I thought why not give it a try. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Um, we don't have any add-ons as it looks like here. Got a nice steering wheel which works. I didn't want to do that. I'm gonna start the truck because I got a suspicion that we can pop the hood or something. So let's try it again. No. I don't know, but for some reason it really looks like the hood can open up. Would have been cool if we uh, would be able to do that, but that's no big deal. Just a little cosmetic thing. And uh, I'm gonna see where we will be exploring. Let's go here. Alright, so I set my waypoint and uh, let's explore this map. Uh, but first, I gotta fix my four seat back. Okay, I hope it is fixed. But for some reason. It doesn't recognize it. Give me a second. Okay, so I restart my game. And it's software for the uh, wheel and I think it should be fine now. It could be that uh, the vehicle just doesn't have... Give a lot of force feedback. But it doesn't feel like it is. It's weird stuff. It will keep on playing for a bit, maybe it, it will uh, kick in a little bit later. But it really doesn't feel like it. I, I'm going to check one more time. Okay, so for some reason it doesn't look like the force feedback uh, is going to work today. So I will just do it without them. Kind of sad. But it probably has to do with either the vehicle or the game. I don't know exactly. Some weird stuff. Oh god damn it. Just saved it. But uh, I'm not gonna let my game be ruined bec just because of that. Then I will play a bit without. Or feedback. Could be that my uh, wheel needs some kind of firmware update or maybe something else but I have to check that uh, some other time what I can do is switch to another vehicle real quick though oh, that's locked I was about to say I could switch to the uh, K700 real quick to check but that seems to be locked uh, good this waypoint by the way since there is a little path over there so let's do that drive with the first person I like that everything works only kind of sad that uh, there's a fake dash but that's no big deal since most mods don't even have stuff like this to be honest Oh god, really? Oh, that, that's annoying. Um, I'll restart it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I'm back in the on the map. And this time I think we'll be going this way. And then to this check uh, watch point. Instead of going the other way since 
I'm not really wanting to do the same thing over again. So we'll just do it like this. Until we okay as well. And uh, also mainly because there is a K700 there. And then I can check real quick if it's really my force feedback or something else. But the weird thing is also that whenever I uh, disable force feedback and enable it right back after, that uh, module stops working in this game. So it could be that it's something with the game, but I honestly have no clue what it is. Normally it does have uh, problems like this. I'm going to switch to the K700. Switch to the K700. Like that. And let's see real quick uh, how if that has any force feedback. No, it doesn't look like it has neither. Or a little bit, but no, that's not enough than what you would get normally. I think we're gonna jump into the... Uh, um, I'm gonna try and see if I got any firmware updates or something for the wheel. So I'm gonna pause it again. Okay, so I don't seem to have any kind of firmware updates or something. So that's probably something to do with the uh, spin tires itself. But we'll just keep on going. Could also be that it's just uh, a one-time thing that's bugged out or something. That it is bugged out or something. You, find, you never know. Although I feel a little bit of force, but I doubt it's really, it really is how it's supposed to be. It's always diff uh, difficult to tell stuff like that, if it's working correctly or not. Oh, let's cross this bridge over here. So far, a pretty nice map though. I like it. Oh, and my vehicle isn't really taking these uh, b uh, bumps and stuff too good. I think it is because it doesn't really have the greatest suspension. Or at least the travel for, uh, in the suspension. So yeah, then it will take a pretty big hit on roads like this especially. Gotta be careful though, since we only have 300 points total. Uh, damage points. I don't want to crash this thing again. That would be a bummer. Otherwise we barely do anything in this video. Let's put it in dirt. for this mat. I also don't get why this thing has no all-wheel drive. I mean, it's a tow truck. It needs some power. That, that's what I think, at least. But we're getting for it. Slowly but surely. I am uh, also, by the way, planning on getting a new mic, uh, so the audio uh, quality will be a lot better in about one or two weeks Then I'm getting paid from work and uh, I'm going to work extra since upcoming week I have one week free and since I'm working extra then I will be able to uh, 
get a better mic. So that's exciting. And uh, maybe I will be making a video about that, unboxing it and setting it up. But I don't know for sure yet. Oh, and I, of course, damaged my vehicle, but look what is there. A B66, which with uh, repair points. All right, pretty cool. <laughs> Actually, super lucky. Super lucky that it happens right here and not somewhere else. So we can still continue. But let's move on to. Let's see. This. Why. Uh, I keep saying waypoint, but this watch point. I'm still not really used to uh, the new names compared to the old spin tires because there they used to be waypoints and here it is watch points or no it, it wasn't waypoints waypoints is the it's the little navigation thing in the red line uh, but then the first spin tires they, they used to be called cloaking points beginning I said that a lot, but now I keep saying waypoint instead of watch point. Pretty annoying. Also, uh, this Tuesday is a new uh, DLC for spin tires coming out. Metrunner. Uh, American Wildlands is the DLC. I don't know if you guys have seen anything about it. Uh, I uploaded once a trailer about it and uh, that's pretty much it but i probably will be uh i will be probably streaming uh that dlc on release day i gotta work though so it will be uh in the evening for european time so then i will be checking it out pretty excited has been uh quite a while since we've gotten a DLC for this game so I'm happy it's still alive and not uh, dead like the first pin tires but if you got any uh, ideas of what kind of videos I should make about the DLC or if you want to see certain stuff let me know in the comments I will be uh, up at, at least maybe I will take some of your ideas uh, to make a video about so getting through this mud slowly but surely this vehicle is actually doing pretty well for not really an off-roady type vehicle it isn't doing bad only thing is the suspension travel isn't really the greatest, so you gotta watch out with bumps. Especially in this game, you get you get so easily damage point, uh, yeah, damage on your vehicle. Sometimes it's pretty crazy. About 400 meters left. Come on, get through this. Maybe dirt will work. Nope, made it worse. And I'm back to first. <clears throat> Come on, get some power. Go over these rocks. Isn't too hard. Not that hard at all, actually. And I'm almost sure that the uh, force feedback is off. 
because normally I would have already had a uh, rumbling steering wheel, but it isn't doing anything at all. Really, really weird how this uh, problem occurred, though, because I haven't really done anything special. So I'm pretty curious if it's maybe a one-time thing or not. I hope it's a one-time thing. Otherwise it would suck quite a bit. Oh god. Only, let's see, 38 points left before I'm completely dead. Hopefully I can make the last 250 meters or so. Then we got at least another uh, watch point discovered. Makes it a little bit less annoying if the vehicle dies. Oh god. The last one at the 75 meters. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, I, I guess it's it's just like that. I can I can I can change it. I can't change it right now. Uh, I'm not gonna take the B66 all the way through that. But um, I will be ending this video here then, since we've already totaled this vehicle third time right now. One time we were lucky, and the other times we weren't so lucky. But that's how it is. Um, I enjoyed this vehicle. Pretty nice vehicle. Only the only thing is it doesn't have too much of um, damage points. It only has 300. And uh, with a vehicle which doesn't have the great suspension travel like this one. Stuff like this happens. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, the map was also pretty nice. Not really too much special to it. It's okay. I didn't really expect too much f uh, for it. Judging by the screenshot I saw before recording this video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, make sure to leave a dislike. Also make sure, um, yeah. Also make sure to leave a like if you haven't. Uh, no, leave a like. Also make sure to sub subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on your post notifications to stay updated of whenever I upload a new video. And uh, leave a comment if you want. It is needed. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one later.